I need a translator. Come back, Nacho. Uh, uh, you kidding? Well, hello, uh, front right here. Uh, first, uh, tell us about the shirt that you're wearing uh, up here. Uh, I wanted to uh, wear this shirt to bring out the clown of Miami. I'm hoping that he shows up. I know that he has a restraining order where he's not allowed to come into the building, but uh, I'm hoping this will bring him out. And uh, you know, I just wanted to show the world, like, they brought him out to London, they wanted to make him this big thing, but I want to show them that I'm in Miami, I'm wearing this shirt to show them that much of a clown he is. So he can't enter this building, correct? That's what Masra says, but I don't know. He says he's the king of Miami. If you're the king of Miami, you go anywhere you want, right? Uh, you mentioned when Colby, obviously, he flew to London, made weight and everything. It kind of surprised everyone. Did they approach you at all to possibly a backup fighter? Because I think, I think it took everyone by surprise when you stepped on the scale. Literally, I was asking for that role. I was, I'm was i walking around at 185. I was like, I could have made weight on Thursday to, to go down there and make weight. So when like Dana says, like, oh, man, he was the only one that was willing to do it, I'm like, don't lie on the situation. Like, if you want him to put him in a title fight for his third time, obviously there's a reason for it. But don't sit there and make up lies like, oh, man, he deserves it. He earned it. He's number two, blah, blah, blah. He's two and two of his last four fights. He didn't earn it. He didn't deserve it. I'm the rightful owner of that spot. So yeah. if you want to say that we're doing this for Kobe because this, this, and this, just don't make up lies. Um, I thought I was going to fight Kobe in London. They just kept turning it down, turning it down, and then all of a sudden he pops up. So, yeah, it was definitely a surprise. What do you think the reason is that Dana White is so adamant that he gets the next title shot? Because historically, his, he always says he doesn't make fights after the fights, and then he's been pretty adamant that Colby's next. I, this is, I don't know, man. It makes it, The only thing that really makes sense is uh, him dropping the case. like, Or he has something on Dana. Maybe he caught him at the Palms again or something like that. It's just weird, right? And Dana White also mentioned that they want you to fight Shavkat. That's what they, they, were, they were looking at. Has, is that, have, have they approached you with that, and would you even be interested in that fight? For me, that's just going backwards again. I just went backwards to fight Sean Brady, another undefeated prospect who they thought was the next big thing. And uh, there was guys ahead of me that didn't have fights. Right now, they said, I'd, oh, man, he just needs that big name that's going to get him that spot. And I'm looking at Kamaru Usman. He was the, the former champ, the guy that they all consider the goat of the division. Uh, nothing but respect, but it's like, if that's the guy, I, that name that's finally going to get me over the top, I'm like, I'm going to eat five winning streak. What else do I need to do? I have former uh, title contenders on my resume. I have Wonder Boy and Maya. I have uh, Luke, who weighed in for the title shot uh, as a backup. And then I have the hot prospect. So I'm like, I don't have a former champion. Give me the former champion. And he's number one right now. Like, Dana says, oh, Kobe's number two, so he deserves it. So like, all right, well, give me the number one guy. And then there's nobody that could get ahead of me, right? Did you meet with Dana in Vegas? Yeah. How was that meeting? And did you say to him, like, hey, I want Usman next? And was he receptive? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, like you said, it, when you're in front of him, you get to talk to him. You get to hear what they're trying to do, what they have in store for me. Because, like, when there's a middleman involved, you're like, bro, like, what's what's happening? Like, this doesn't make sense. You guys tell me I'm fighting Kobe. Then all of a sudden Kobe pops up as this. And none of it really made sense. So it's like talking to him, hearing my side, what I want to do, what do I need for you to give me the shot that there's no denying and, uh, yeah, we talked about uh, Usman. He's like, all right, well, we'll see how this weekend goes, and uh, we'll see where Usman is with his health. But my manager is Ali. Like, we both have the same manager as Usman. I'm asking about his health. I'm asking about the guys at Sanford. Yo, is he training? He's training. I don't think he really took any damage in that last fight, but low kicks. So yeah. I think he's ready to come back in there. I was wondering, with the Ali connection, is it an easier fight to get made because you guys kind of work in similar circles, or is it going to make it a bit trickier? Like, what's that impact? I mean, you never know, because none of these guys really want to fight me. The guy's always above me, always picking up somebody else. Like, this guy wants to fight this guy, and then all of a sudden, they want to act like you're not, you're ducking them, and then all of a sudden, they're, they're fighting number 12, number 11, and you're like, bro, I've been asking for you for how long? Like, yeah. why would I fight Sean Brady instead of a Gilbert, instead of a Kobe, instead of a Usman? Like, I would rather fight you guys instead. Like, you guys are the same style, same matchups, but you guys are assuming that I'm ducking. I'm like... Give me him. Ali's like, he's healthy. We'll see what he wants to do. Obviously, you know, taking back-to-back -back losses, losing the belt, maybe mentally something's there. But I just think that he just needs a change of opponent. I just think that going back into that Leon fight so fast was a bad move uh, from a knockout. And he came back a little bit too soon because he didn't look bad to me. He just, that, that fight really could have went either way. I think it was just one of those things where, yeah. Let's say best case scenario, right? Uh, Leon and Colby fight and you get to fight the winner. Obviously, you have a history of Leon and that fight the way it, when it did, but you've not kept any secret about how little you particularly like Colby. So if you had a choice, best case scenario, which one of those would you like to fight for a title? Uh, I mean, like I have a hatred for Colby, where I just like, what I really just want to punch him in his mouth. But Leon, 
he, he still pisses me off because the way that fight ended and the way that he's just acting like nonchalantly, like, I don't deserve it and uh, there's nobody else in the division. I'm like, bro, you're just where I'm at three years ago and you're like, I'm on this long streak, man, and nobody wants to fight me, yada, yada, yada. And then they give you a Nate Diaz and you get a title shot off of beating a Nate Diaz. I'm like, I'm beating these undefeated prospects. I'm doing what you were just doing. So give me the respect for my resume. I've been putting the hard work in. Yeah. Now, I don't want to put this out there in the world for you, but there is also a case where, like, okay, so they book Kobe and Leon, and then Masvidal does something, does something crazy. Bro, tonight. don't put that in the universe <laughs> right now, man. They didn't want to sit on TMZ. He said, if Masvidal does it, then they could do that fight. If they do that, I mean, how, how much will you just lose your mind at that point? I think at that point, I'm just going to go to 185, honestly. I'm going to go look for Chimaev again. He moved up. I can fight at 185. I'm not worried about it. So I'll move up, look for him. Uh, maybe he'll finally come out and play that again because it's like... All right, I made it to the top in 170, 185, I'll do the same thing. If I'm not going to get a title fight, just give me the fights that really get me excited. Give me like a Sean Strickland, somebody that, you know, I dislike, somebody that, that I hate, that'll be fun to punch in the mouth. You don't like Sean Strickland? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> why, why is that? Like, do you guys really like him? Like, when he comes in here, like, I don't think he's a very likable guy. Last one, what's with the, uh, the pad on your elbow? Oh, uh, I'm dealing with Nacho, who's just, like, kicking me at all points from all angles. And, you know, he just kicks me in my arm at all, all the time. So I'm like, let me get a little padding on there so it won't hurt. <laughs> well, one more over here. Um, I, I'm sure you saw the Colby's comments when he responded to you. He called you racist. And he said, if I said anything like that, then my career would be over. What is your response to Colby? The kid's the biggest joke in the world. Like... The stuff that he says, it's very stupid, it's ignorant, and uh, the fact that he would scream that, it just shows how much, like, how dumb he is. Like, there's no wit in the stuff that he comes back with. Like, and that's why I was ex excited to fight a guy like that, because I'm like, in a press conference or anything like that, I'll make him look stupid, because if it's not written down in front of him, he won't say it. He doesn't know how, how to talk for himself. Yeah, I know you're hoping that the fight doesn't go ahead between Colby and Leon, but just wanted your thoughts on how you think that fight will go down. If it does, uh, I mean, a lot of people are saying Leon looked like his wrestling got a lot better the last one, but I think Usman's wrestling got worse that last one. I think it'll kind of be like the second fight with Usman, where when Usman backed him up, pushed him against the fence, took him down. That's all Kobe does: push you back, shoot on you, take you down. And then Leon's good at getting back up. I think he will end up having a moment in that fight. So, for me, I think maybe Kobe could win a, a decision. Or uh, Leon could catch him with something because Kobe's been rocked in his last like three fights, so he's kind of chinny. Appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Chi chi chi. Le le le.